All right, we're also getting new insight into the Biden administration's actions leading up to and during the withdrawal, a new book to be released next week. The Last Politician Inside Joe Biden's White House and the Struggle for American Future promises an insider account of the first two years of the Biden administration. An excerpt published from the book in The Atlantic Today reads in part, in fact, everything he'd witnessed from his seat in the Situation Room confirmed his belief that exiting a war without hope was the best and only course. So much of the commentary felt overheated to him. He said to an aide, either the press is losing its mind or I am. Uh, Emily, two years later, does that have a different meaning? I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm just disgusted by that comment. Um, I interviewed Dar Darren Hoover, who you just saw speak today on the Hill. I interviewed him last week into my sub stack in latepostnews.com. Um, I've been talking to these Gold Star families for two years. This administration could have stopped that bombing from what they understand. And they want answers. And they want to know why their children were killed in war. And they're not going to stop. Now they've gone public about it. And they are going to continue to go public until they get answers. This administration pulled out prematurely. They could have stopped this bombing. It looks, it seems like. And as Darren Hoover said to me, Joe Biden has never said my son's name publicly. He's never said any of their names publicly. And the people wonder why this is still hanging around his neck, the president's neck, is because he has never apologized and he has never said what he, the truth. And uh, these Gold Star families, now they're going on the Hill and they're going in public and we're going to need more answers and we should have it by the time we have an election. Scott, you can look at a chart of President Biden's approval numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, the top was just <coughs> before Afghanistan. And then the, the bottom fell out and he has never been able to recover after that. Uh, you can order, argue correlation or causation, but does Emily have a point that there needs to be a reckoning about this? Well, I, I think she's absolutely right about the tragedy that has been uh, suffered. The Democrats with the Biden administration could have done a much better job of that. I mean, the optics themselves are undeniable when you saw the plane and the people who died trying to leave Afghanistan. I never understood what the rush was, and we even telegraphed we were leaving which meant the Taliban <clears throat> was on the march, if yep. you will. Yep. And, and then the bombing came. Now, I don't know what the evidence is that we knew about and then we could have stopped it, but how it was handled. There was a lot of evidence. That we, 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 knew, we, knew, yeah. we, knew where, we knew where the bomber we knew was, was. Okay. And, and decided not to go after him because of yeah, there were uh, Taliban the, members. the Taliban uh, yeah. might so fear us. So I just want to get, just to get back to President Biden's comment. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, everything he'd witnessed from his seat in the Situation Room confirmed his belief that exiting a war without hope was the best and only course. Um, a war without hope. I'm wondering if right now there's a lot of people, uh, Bill, who could apply that to the war in Ukraine. I think there are. Um, but more importantly, if you think about the blood and treasure that we spend in Afghanistan, uh, to characterize that after we went in there after 9-11 to basically neutralize a threat to the mm -hmm. homeland, um, I think that there are a lot of veterans who felt betrayed, um, who sacrificed their bodies, um, yep. who have mental and yep. uh, physical scars coming from that. To see the exit from Afghanistan, as botched as it was, to cost an additional 13 American lives, I think is something that this administration mm -hmm. really does need to be transparent with these families about, especially given some of the evidence that's sure. coming out from this book and others, um, that there was some warning that a bombing could be happening and that they didn't take the action or authorize the action necessary to protect the American service members over there, the war fighters, yeah. but also the civilians who supported the United States and Afghanistan as they tried to get out. Yeah, the Wall I Street Journal, to, the, I, we got to run, but the Wall Street Journal today has an incredible piece about people who risk their lives during the war who are for the United States who are yes, still so still funny. stuck. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, I, they, they're texting me because I know I've been covering this for two years and I to today got a text from Afghanistan. You left us behind. He worked for the CIA for 20 years, lived on one of our Air Force bases. And, and could it be we a reason that behind. recruitment is down in the armed services? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, there's a there's a lot. There, there's a lot. There's a lot there. There's a lot. The box is the least work. We got to run. Right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.